Okay, this box is given a hit, a short temporary push like this, and then the starts moving, which gives it a, an initial velocity upward. So the box moves until it comes to a stop. Just situation like this. Uh, find the acceleration um, and then the stop time and the stop displacement. I hope you have seen the previous video, but uh, let's uh, actually uh, uh, do the first thing. Uh, we know that the final velocity is, of course, a zero, right? So, um, this is mg, then we divide it to its components, mg, mg cosine theta, and mg sine theta so um, and the mg itself would be dotted now so um, this is obviously the n And uh, pay attention to this, the movement is in this side. This is the uh, movement side, right? So is is this way. It is uh, positive, is this way. And uh, the f of friction would appear this way. This is the f of friction. So look at here okay now I know that uh, these two will cancel each other so the um, total force would be the um, addition of these two um, uh, so the F total would be the addition of these two however because the positive direction is this way the movement is this way I, I consider this positive um, and uh, therefore um, I will say, of course, we know that the forces, but the forces that are in this direction uh, would uh, be negative. So I will say uh, negative mg sine theta, uh, and also f of friction would be negative because they're both in this direction. So uh, uh, ma equals. And I know that uh, mu n, and I know if if a fraction is mu n, and minus, as I know, the n is equal to mg cosine theta. Um, so the ma equals minus mg, I uh, factor out uh, sine theta plus mu cosine theta. And the m will cancel, so the a would be And if you look at the previous formula, I mean previous video, you would know that the stop time would be v initial over a. So of course, um, and, uh, and the absolute value of it, as you might remember, uh, you should remember. So the ts uh, would be um, vi over g sine theta plus mu cosine theta. Oh, it's 
very bad writing. So I'm gonna make it a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah. And then the this is another answer and the other thing we are looking for is actually the uh, the distance, uh, I mean the stop displacement, uh, which would be uh, over 2a. So I just substitute uh, b initial square over um, 2g sine theta plus mu cosine theta. That's it. And this is the other answer. Uh, this is just to play with these things, you know, but the point of this is that the uh, uh, the movement is this way, the friction would end up this way. So th we have already studied uh, uh, two ways of movement. Uh, previous videos, the movement was this way. In this video, the movement is this way. And a little bit playing with these uh, formulas.